Hello everyone and welcome to PA Academy. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to construct a hexagon using your protractor. So when we talk about a hexagon, it, is, it has a six sides. So this is it. So this is just a freehand sketch. So this is what hexagon. So this is one side, two, three, four, five, and six. So how do we go ahead drawing this using just our protractor? Remember there are different ways you can decide to use your set square or your compass and now you are looking at using a protractor and the concept is very simple so using this as an example what you just need to understand is that if I should extend this base that means we are just have to make sure that this angle here remember the angle on the straight line is 180 so you can just use our protractor to measure this angle to give us 120 degrees or we are, you take the angle on this side to be 60 degrees to be 60 degrees so the same thing we are going to do to this side the internal angle here we make it 120 degrees or the one outside we make it 60 so that's what we are going to do down here and then while at this side also we are going to apply the same either we make one 120 or 60 degrees so let's let me go ahead and show you how to do it in real time so in doing this i'm going to be using a side of 10 centimeter so that's 100 millimeter so depending on the units that you are familiar with. So the first thing I'm going to do is to draw the straight line. So I will take my 10 centimeter. So I've noted the points. So let me call this point A and let me call this point B. So now I'll bring in my protractor. So let me start with point A. Okay. So now if you remember this, what I said here, so I said we can either measure 120 degrees. So that means 120 degree if you are going into in this direction, 120 degree here, or if you are coming from this direction. So it will be 60 degrees. So whichever one you want to do. So just note the point. So that this is it somewhere here. So now I'll use my ruler. So let me use my ruler to extend it. So what I've done to this point, uh, to this point A, I'll repeat it to point B. But I want to reduce the length instead of ten, instead of ten centimeter because my space will not be enough for that of ten centimeter. So let me just work with um, six centimeter. So let me just measure my line and note that six centimeter. So this point. So let me know. This is my point B. All right. So let's continue. So now I'm using length of six centimeter. That's sixty millimeter. So I bring back my protractor. So on this point B. So this time around. My 120, if I'm coming, measuring from towards this direction, you can see this is 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. So, this is it. And if you are coming from this direction, you measure it this way, you'll be at 60. So, once you notice the point, so let me use my ruler to join, draw a line. So I can just extend it. So now on these two straight lines, since I'm working with the length of the hexagon to be six centimeter, so what I'll just do is to measure the six centimeter on this line. So I can use my ruler to measure it. So this point is the six centimeter. And this is my six centimeter. 
So what I do, I'll just draw a, free, uh, a construction line, that's a thin line, to join these two points. So now I'll bring back the protractor again. So from this point, So I'll measure, I will measure 60 from this direction, 60 degrees. So my 60 degrees is here. So I'll join the lines. So at this point also, so I'll measure 60 degrees in this direction. So this is 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So let me measure the 6 centimeter. So this is 6 centimeter. So this is 6 centimeter. So let for us to be sure by the time we measure this, it will also give us 6 centimeters. You can see. So let me join. So now let me just make make the lines bold. So the main uh, hexagon itself, let me make the lines bold. So you can see that all the sides will be six centimeter. If, if. So if you are taking your scale on your protractor, you have to make sure that you are setting it properly, so that the angles will be correct. If the angles are correct, then the length will also be correct. So this is it, we already have our hexagon just by using our protractor, our ruler and our pencil. So that's how you go ahead to construct an uh, hexagon using your protractor. So if you find this video helpful, kindly uh, click on the like button to like this video, to share this video. And if you are yet to subscribe to PA Academy, kindly click on the subscribe button and the little bell icon beside the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much and I'll see you all in another video. And before I go, if you want to check out how to construct a hexagon using a compass or using your set square. Can you check the description of this video? You'll find a link to those uh, other two videos. Thank you very much.